Right, I'm in this sort of um, common land. They were going to build a railway here apparently once, but never did. I'm going for a little walk along this path because um, I haven't been feeling 100% this morning. I'm feeling better now. I got up really early. I didn't sleep very well. So I wanted to get over to Newport Pagnell to um, do a bit of recording. So this is a history of Berryfield Common. It's a rare surviving example of a medieval open field. Its name comes from Burr, meaning manor or town. It's 180 acres, farmed from at least the 9th century. It is thought ridge and furrow ploughland changed to grazing in the 12th century when the lord of the manor made an arrangement with his tenants, forerunners of the present 120 plus common holders. These ancient rights remain vested in the owners of certain properties in the town. I've already taken photographs of all this actually by the way. But, um Well, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have a walk around while my stomach improves. It's getting better. <clears throat> There's a bit about the natural environment of the field, different animals. The little e egret, um, orange dip butter flantain, buttercup, lady smock, great burnet, and flowering rush. So we just have a little bit of a walk, and I'm going to do. I've got a lot to do today. I've got. Um, go to a place called Olney where there's some sort of um, visitor centre um, then there's Western Underwood which is where the Lockwoods are uh, hung out Ravenstone and of course I've got the, the newer cemetery The newer cemetery um, to do at uh, Newport Pagnell. I've had a quick look around the old one in the St Peter and St Paul's graveyard. The church bells rang. I got a video of that, but I didn't get around getting inside because it wasn't open. So it must have been an automatic bell ringing. It was pretty good. It was for quite a long time trouble with this camera is I don't know if it's going to turn out. I sometimes it hasn't been recording but it is flashing but some there's times when I thought I've recorded and nothing's come out. And that's always a bit of a worry because um, the other one's being charged up the better one. So uh, this is just to give an idea of what's around Newport Pagnell. And this was common grazing land, you see, all around there. It's an old town, you can see the buildings. They've got a lot of old buildings remaining. They've got several non-conformist church, of which the Lockwood seem to have been baptised in the circuit, called the Wesleyan circuit. Right, I'm still on the common. Somebody flying a plane there, look. There's a clump of trees there little cops. Over in the distance we've got the church and I'm in a field of cow parsley, wild buttercups, thistles, and I've got a feeling in a minute it might be the river ooze and there's a river of lover and they meet down where the church is, well, somebody pointed out to me, two, two rivers meet. So, so, I'm having a bit of a walk around, I need the fresh air. Um, didn't look behind. I've got a lot to do, but sometimes you just got to unwind a bit. I'm doing family tree for the Lockwoods and it brings me to 
Newport Pagnell. I haven't got any further than that with them. A William Lockwood who was born about 1750 is the closest <coughs> I've got. And um, I'm wondering whether they come from Yorkshire or because there's so many Lockwoods in Suffolk and there's hundreds that they originate there's a place called Lockwood in Yorkshire I didn't ex I didn't explore that when I was up there there is one bloke that's done a lot but with my particular branch that we are doing for Jolene and Duncan and Georgia um, for that particular branch he doesn't seem to have much information it's typical isn't it he did say about um, getting Duncan or Dave to have a DNA test because he's done a big study and um, oh, that's a good view of the church there look very good view there across the fields it's a lovely day today first nice day we've had for a long time On Newton Pagnell Burr Common Ground. I imagine I've got to turn off in a minute. I've got to walk to a cemetery. I'm going to have a lot of walking to do, but I'm hoping some places Ravenstone, Western Underwood, Olney are going to be a bit more. you know, um, to call it smaller. Well, this is small, this place is small. But it's, it has got um, lots of houses stretching further out as well. Right, over and out everyone.